So what do you think are the most important um, issues that you have deduced from the Snowden land through your street investigations? Well, there's a lot more to come, actually, because I'm in contact with a lot of people, uh, some business owners, some homeowners, uh, some residents. Um, one thing I've, I've noticed a lot is the neglect. It's just, it's blatant. You know what I mean? Again, 39 years of the same individual representing the area, and there is literally, within the same district, huge disparities between the west and the east side of the Dakari. You know what I mean? Huge neglect. So it's about uplifting the entire borough, the entire district, and not just playing favorites. You know what I mean? And so you're I think saying be... care more about the NDG side and less about the Kotanesh side? <laughs> yeah, that's literally what it looks like when you go there. That's I, literally what I mean. Game. Like that to me, the carries the cutoff point. Like, I mean, I know you're still kind of NDG at Snowden, but you're basically Code Dinesh right after. So, like, it's kind of what it is. Yeah. But, like, that's fair. So, how does how do you do that? Like, I, I saw some pictures of look at what other boroughs are doing, and I'm like, say a word. Does that one have its street name and lights up top? Like, what are some of the stuff you would, like, spearhead to actually, like, improve it, given you've been talking, thinking a little bit? Give us a little taste of, a, of an initiative you would run. So, for now, I've been talking about it a little bit, and, uh, you know, the campaign is just getting started. It officially doesn't start till September, so this is, like, the pregame. And one thing I've noticed was... <clears throat> One thing I've noticed is I, I look around the surrounding boroughs. What has been done in Villaray? What has been done in Plateau? What has been done in the Sudwest? And then I look at our, our borough and I'm like, you know what? There's stuff that doesn't make sense. And what is the inexpensive quick fix, right? And that's simple. It's, you know, better garbage cleanup, uh, you know, um, you know, benches, you know, I, for, for people to walk and sit and make it an inviting area. Uh, and also the, the lights, you know, the lighting, Okay, so specifically for the lighting, <coughs> sorry, specifically for the lighting, I put the example of what's been done on, on uh, Monk Boulevard in Villamar. And in Villamar, what they did was they put the lights at St. Patrick and, uh, and, uh, and Monk, uh, and it basically creates like an entrance, you know, it creates a visual entrance. It also adds light, so there's the safety factor, and it makes it more viewing, and it makes it more inviting to walk on the area. Putting something like that at, let's say, Victoria or Queen Mary designates that area specifically as a commercial area, like a little booming area, an area where you want to go, an area that's exciting. Just in terms of getting people to go to, let's say, Queen Mary or Victoria and take Instagram pictures and say, like, look, I'm here, look. Just, just to get that, it's foot traffic that you're bringing in. You know what I mean? And that's something those two areas need badly because of various reasons, such as construction, such as neglect, such as, you know, the lacking investment in infrastructure, their sidewalks, all that fun stuff. So I think it's very important to yeah. actually beautify our commercial arteries. You know, that's huge. If you don't beautify them, if you don't make them more inviting, you're not gonna wanna go. I'll give you an example. It's not a commercial artery, but it's a big mall in Cote d'Ange, Plaza Cote d'Ange. No one wanted to go to Plaza Cote d'Ange 20 years ago because of how it looked. And in the last five years, look how much better it's gotten. It's a lot more inviting. People are going so I, in. I have no idea what it exactly. looks like because of what it used to look like. <laughs> exactly. exactly. It's a lot more. It's a lot different. I swear you go. It's worth it. It's a lot different than what it used to be. And if you don't, I'll put pictures on it on Instagram and, I, and Facebook. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I mean, I want to go, but I don't know that I really want to go just to look at how the mall got renovated. Um, be like, wow, change. <laughs> so we got a comment, though, that said they don't agree with the monk thing in terms of the lights. It isn't more inviting. It's just like the last cheap place in the city. Fair enough. But I guess it's an effort to. Nah. So, OK, here's an, a flip to that question. Then, is that not the risk of gentrification increasing over some of these efforts? I mean, the, the, the alternative is leaving it the way it's always been for the last 39 years. And don't you think that the residents deserve a little bit more love from the borough? Don't you think they deserve less neglect? Don't you think that people that live in that area deserve just as much TLC from city center and from the borough offices than everyone else? 
why should the people there live in basically the conditions that well, we've been in for the last year? There's, there's a, I'm going to argue, there's a difference between fixing the road and making it like insta nice. Those are not fully, there's a, there's a middle ground in there where like there is a middle ground is all I'm saying. Uh, Cause as a person who lives there, I'm going, hold up. Do we really want to go that far with it? Do I want the streets paved? Kind of, yeah. Actually, I never thought about it till today. It's kind of whack how bad the streets are. Yo, they just did a patch too. Like it was like, I don't know. You could walk through the whole patch in about 27 seconds. So it wasn't a very long patch of fielding. And I'm like sitting there going, okay, fair enough on that point. And I'm not saying that beautifying, it's not an issue. I mean, like it's happened, but then we can also look at the consequence on Monkland of like what happens and they're trying to do stuff like that on Summerled. And so there's an impact of going too far, in my opinion, with the beautification across everything. However, I'm not hating it at Snowden personally, because that's really not right where I'm at. It's all the way over there and it feels like it should be kind of commercial, but. I don't know. Do you feel there's like a balance then that has to be maintained between those factors, I guess? Absolutely. Balances have to be maintained, but at the same time, we're in a capitalist system and there's only so much we could do. That doesn't mean that we cannot help and provide support to existing commercial uh, tenants. That doesn't mean that we cannot provide uh, support to uh, residential tenants as well. Um, you know, it, it all goes hand in hand with the evolution of, a, of an area. I mean, if the money isn't spent, I would ask that person that's watching if the money isn't spent on, you know, to be fair, I visual... follow, the follow up question was mine. I was curious. <laughs> but... All right, well, if the money isn't spent on visual, visually appealing uh, items to spruce up the borough, where do you think all that money is going to go? Because it'll be spent on something we won't know where it's spent on. You know what I mean? Like we won't see the actual impact. So, and I'm not, again, I'm asking this now because I'm curious. So, if I hear what you're saying is, Effectively, it's better to use the money in direct ways like that than in corrupt ways. I mean, I never said that. I'm paraphrasing, um, but I'm, I'm but like okay, not corrupt in the darkest of ways, but in less transparent ways that could be corrupt, could be because it's not transparent. Allegedly, so forth and so on, right? <laughs> Uh, fair enough. I understand there are legal implications to slanderous claims. I'm not trying to be slanderous. I'm trying to understand the the, the mentality behind it because that's what people are going to think about. That's the truth of it. I mean, you gotta you gotta look at the state of of Snowden, generally speaking, Victoria, Queen Mary, and ask yourself, where is the money being spent? You, it doesn't matter if you don't want to vote for me. That's fine. I, but got, like, I got told it was Monkland. Everybody says they spend it on Monkland. <laughs> No, but you got to ask yourself, where is all the money being spent that the borough is giving to city center? The borough is giving to the city offices of the borough. Like, it's not, it doesn't make sense. You know what I mean? You're saying that like there's a budget for the Snowden area in particular that is separate than, say, where Monkland's money goes, that in theory should be going into that part of it that, like, isn't happening or isn't transparent or we don't understand where it's going. So there's, there's budget, there's the borough budget. And that, it, that in itself is incredibly nebulous document that, you know, you have to fight tooth nail to get a copy of. And even at that, you get the Coles note version of it. So I cannot fully answer that question for you, but the money that gets sent to the borough then gets sent to city center. And then the city center takes some of that money to spread it out to other boroughs, but, and then sends us back our money and says, here, this is X, X amount is what you get. And that's what you get to spend. And then that amount is divided between the districts and certain projects see the light of day based on whether or not you are on good terms with the person in charge, whether they are elected or unelected, depending on, you know, flavor of the day. So it's a lot of, you know, uh, you know, wheeling and dealing, so to, so to speak, you know, it's a lot of, uh, you know, coming to compromises, trying to find solutions that help everybody. You know? And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not, it's not that difficult if you're uh, if you have minimal people skills to actually start a conversation about wanting to change something in a specific given area. You know what I mean? You gotta want to have the conversation. You know, if you're standoffish, uh, if you have zero interest in working with others, you're not gonna do anything for the borough. That's fair. Uh <laughs>